So we open with Toya and Simone's overbite out to lunch. However, Toya's still whining about Eugene. And Simone's like, you got to be nicer to your man. You know, you're kind of his wife. That's real funny coming from you, Meanie. You scared your man so far away he ran into the arms of a lesbian. Simone has a good point. He is scared to plan things because you're so critical. Oh, my God. Not T.S. Madison up in Heavenly's chair. Oh, Dr. Jackie in the office with a breast cancer survivor. And she says her labs are all normal so she can stop pretending she's sick and stop bothering her for notes so she can play hooker. Oh, God. And she weight shaming this woman, too. Girl, this is so not the time. This is so not the time. Everybody just groaning. I think the leading cause of death in black women is doctors that don't listen. Well, I'm sure it's up there. Now we got Eugene and the kids. Uh, I'm happy they get in braces, but I'm bored. After that, we've got fertility with sweet tea. So we are gonna remove the fibroids and hopefully get her pregnant. All I can think watching this episode is Carlos King saying they need quad. Phaedra, does the P in your name stand for parsley? Because that's all you're giving. Garnishment. Over with Simone, she's talking about the Ozempic craze and you can't take it during pregnancy, which makes sense because, you know, you eating for two. The thing is, we don't mind these scenes on an episode where there's something else going on. I can't believe it, but maybe if Toya was arguing with Quad, then, you know, the kids at the dentist is a nice breather, you know, before everybody goes to dinner and then Heffley gets evil. I I like it when the ladies are humanized and we get to see their family and stuff, but when it's all personal story and no interaction, it's not that interesting. I feel like Simone and Jackie could have come together and had, like, an event talking about the weight loss stuff that also could have created, you know, some drama, some skirmishes, then heavily want to get involved. You know, I feel that could have been a little more interesting where we could have educated, but we also could have entertained. This is just, it's just filler. Okay, so now the men's is going out to eat. I mean, Cecil and Simone checking on their kids in their new apartment. That apartment, though. That's a good price for a two boudoir, even at these interest rates. I'd never live in Atlanta. And also, everybody in Atlanta says, I don't move. So I'm going to listen to y'all. I'm going to agree. See, we could have had this PSA episode at the end of the season. That would have been a great uplifting moment. I'm not saying we can't have uplifting moments, but you got to know when to prep them. Simone and Toya have a little scuffle at this prompter reading, but don't nobody care. Jackie talking about, this is serious. Have you ever seen a mother die? Well, you never want to see one take a day off work. Your words, Heffa, your words. Oh, but the men's is, is going to dinner. Okay, Stuart Little, why are you worried about is a Manhattan a man's drink? Your penis must be mighty small if you're that insecure in it. If you've got a colorful drink in a martini glass, that's a problem. Why do you care what other people think? That's the problem. Instead of enjoying your life, you're, I might look feminine. You look ugly. You don't worry about that. You walk around with that face every day and you don't worry about that. But oh goodness, I can't look feminine. Nobody wants your bussy. Your dirty, unwashed bussy. Don't nobody want that. And don't nobody want you. Except a country fool. And you're 60. She's just waiting for your life insurance. You're going to fund her second marriage. So we gonna end this with the uh, trailer for the Impact New York City, but I want to ask y'all, oh wait, we got the men's talking again, and basically it's just Alicia's husband and his ignorant opinions talking about he ain't gonna cut his nuts off. When does raising your children and actually being a helpful part of your family require castration? That's what I want to know. Y'all are some weak ass men, but back to the Impact. When was the last time MTV came out with a new hit reality show? Because they haven't had anything stick since Black Ink Crew. Like, Black Ink was cute. Black Ink Chicago was cute. We got four's bussy. We got four getting that leg up in a red boot. Check out his uh, Twitter if you don't know. Honey, his bussy hole is out there. Out and proud. 
but they haven't been able to have a hit. That Blanco show, garbage. Um, Staten Island, garbage. That show that was kind of like with the rappers and the influencers, I think that had like two seasons of like trying to make it in New York, garbage. Like they, you know, they be having these one season ass wonders. When are they going to give us a hit? Because the impact seems like some bullshit. He said women have been running things for too long in America. Then maybe you should head on back home. But you can leave your long-suffering wife here. Child, well, that was the shit. And I'm going to see you soon for some. <laughs> All right, but let's look at the heifers of the Impact New York. I feel like they're going to have very little impact indeed. I mean, the fact that is, um, I guess this, uh, is Love and Hip Hop a lead in? Because Love and Hip Hop don't come on till tomorrow. Oh, it's got Love and Hip Hop Miami as a, as a lead in. And that's coming back. Oh, I got two episodes of that to catch up on. Well, good to know. So we have a lot of love and hip hop kind of rejects or fringe characters. Dream doll, Chinese kitty. That sounds like a pejorative. Bernice Burgos. I didn't know they still had video hoes. Oh, Milani Cruz. Her and her boyfriend are real funny. Well, at least these people are, you know, famous and they got a little, maybe they'll have a little coin. Wait a minute, Bernice Burgos' daughter is on here and her daughter has a daughter. So Bernice is a 38-year-old grandmama. Mm. Oh, and we have our token sissy, Scott Louie, and the industry needs me. And you need Ozempic. This bitch said fishy feminine up and comer. From the Clintons to the Obamas, they call me mother. Girl, you somebody's niece. So everybody got their hustle from the Bronx. They got their hustle from you. You have hustle? Do you have hustle? I also feel like they're going to try to spin this with a lot of positivity. And that means it's going to be boring and a chore. A yawn and a snore. Tedious and a bore. I, you know what? I don't even need to finish the trailer. They're going to ask, what are you going to get out of watching this show? I'm going to tell you right now, not a damn thing. Fuck you, VH1. Oops. Fuck you. <laughs> Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Stop clocking my pussy miles. Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This ain't your odometer. Not your odometer. Not your odometer. Uh-uh.